The issue of suicide prevention is being widely discussed, as it should be, but when is it the right time to bring it to the attention of your children? Joining us in Coffee Group today, Lynn Lawton and Tash Lay, who have contributed to a new book on the subject. It's called The Roaring Silence. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Morning. Now, 79 artists and writers have contributed to this book. Tell me about your involvement. Lynn, let's start with you. Well, I'm one of the contributors to it. Uh, there is an interview with me which basically records uh, my experience working in the Royal New Zealand Navy as a chaplain where I developed and taught a suicide awareness and intervention program. And then subsequent to that, I was the person who's organised the uh, funding to publish the book and to get it out there into the bookshops. Well, so this is your baby. Uh, well, a part of a whole team really being part of it. I'm just the kind of the operational side, financial side. And Tash, what about you? What's your involvement? Oh, I just wrote a piece for it. Yeah? <laughs> and what's the piece that you wrote? Um, it's about uh, how the two certain things in life are death and taxes. And um, there was a time in my life when I'd prefer death to taxes because at least I knew how to handle that one by myself. Wow. <laughs> like, it's meant to be quite funny. Yeah. I hope it's quite funny. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you when I read it. It's an excellent written article. Fantastic. Now, Lynn, your, um, your children are a bit older now, aren't they? Yeah, in the 30s. But yeah. did you talk to them about suicide when they were younger? I mean, what do you, how do you bring it up? Uh, to me, it's a contextual thing. I wouldn't sit down one day and say, hey, girls, I want to talk about suicide. To me, you have a relationship with your children. Things are happening out there, like, for example, Netflix at the moment. Oh. And it would just become part of a conversation uh, that arises naturally out of the relationship. Yeah. Uh, Tash, you sort of went, oh, then when you heard about <laughs> Netflix, what's your thoughts on that? Um, it's not Netflix. I love Netflix. Yeah. Um, but um, in case you don't know, there's a series out at the moment called 13 Reasons Why. Yeah, I've been widely discussed in the oh. media. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's about uh, a girl who's taken her own life. Mm -hmm. And um, as someone who's quite... Um, active in the mental health community and I've got lots of friends who work in the community as well I mean in the kind of NGOs and stuff mm -hmm. like that it's just um, it kind of provides a really problematic and simplistic um, portrayal of suicide mm. and it's not the most helpful thing really for young people if they don't have kind of the tools to understand that it's entertainment and not um, not much more than mm. that. It has sparked discussion though, so I guess if anything oh. comes out of it, it has sparked discussion, which is a good thing. Absolutely, yeah, mm. absolutely. So speaking of that discussion, I mean, why do you think we've shied away from it for so long then? Like it is something that we, we don't like to talk about. Mm. Well, it's a very difficult subject and we don't know how to handle it. And whatever you keep hidden for so long, you lack the tools to uh, deal with it. And there's a shame involved with it. And historically, the church has said anyone who did would be you know, not going to where they want to go. There's all sorts of those overlays on it. Mm. So what are the signs that we should be watching out for in our friends and our family? Actually, Tash, start with you for that one. Oh, yeah. that's hard. <laughs> it um, is a tough one. It's tough because, again, um, it's not, it's one of those things where, yes, you've kind of got, like, things to watch out for, but it's not always a checklist. Like, it's different mm. for different people. Mm. Um, lots of people, you can kind of tell straight away they've been a bit more withdrawn. Some people, they just act like everything's fine. And if anything, um, I knew some people who were a lot kind of more cheerful actually just um, days, moments before they took their own lives because they felt like I've finally reached, mm. you know, gotten something that I wanted to do for all this time. Mm. Um, but a big one that I think a lot of people don't really um, look out for is um, if they've um, kind of giving away uh, personal belongings. They kind okay. of, I've always wanted to have this or kind of having like those sort of talks with people. Um, kind of um, that's a red flag that's Those a red flag finishing, finishing, okay it well, really is that's good to know yeah Lynn what do you think finally parents can be doing to maybe make this to, to open this discussion with their kids well I think there's three things that are really important in building a relationship with your children number one is have a relationship spend time in their world get to know them uh, number two is make sure they're connected with another community apart from your own. So there's other support systems out there because when, particularly in the teenage years, if a young person is vulnerable in this area, it's very difficult for you as a parent to engage them at that level. Yeah. Yeah. And number three, I think, you know, today we often have unrealistic expectations about life. You know, life is good and bad, day and night. Help them understand that it's okay to feel bad sometimes about life and the things that are going on. Communication, talking is a really important thing. It's opening that communication up. Thank Absolutely. you so much to you both for coming in. It has You're been welcome. wonderful you having you here. The book is great. Uh, and now you can uh, buy this, The Roaring Silence. It's a compendium of interviews, essays, poetry and art about suicide. And it's going to be on sale at Whitcalls.